In today's video, we're going to talk about jazz drumming and some basic ideas, basic beat, and then maybe some things, a couple little more advanced things. So, um, when I've talked about rock drumming, if you watch that video and you just know that style, you know that's very bass drum, snare drum focused. And that's what a lot of guys have a difficulty of making that switch to the more jazz, traditional jazz style because it really flips it around. The ride cymbal and the hi hat become the focus. All right? And the bass drum and the snare drum take on a completely different role. Okay? So let's walk through the basic beat and then we'll talk about some subtleties of this style. So this is a triplet based beat. Triplets are three notes per beat, subdivision of three notes. So triplet, if we do, let's turn on our metronome here. So there's our quarter note. So triplet is three notes per beat. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay, so three notes per beat. Triple it, 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 triple it. So that's what our beat is based upon, okay? The ride symbol, again, is our focus. So we're going to play the first note of every beat. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to play the third note of the triplet on beat two and the third note of the triplet on beat four. So real slow, it's one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one. Okay? So again, let's count that at about this tempo. One two three two two three three two three four two three one two three two two three three two three four two three one two three two two three three two two four two three one two three two two three three two three four two three one. All right. Let me turn that metronome. It's a little fast. There's our quarter note. Now I'm going to add the triplet. All right, now that subdivision of that triplet is what really defines the feel of the beat, okay? Now I can tighten that up. And I can loosen it. Same tempo, just has a different feel to it, all right? Now let's talk about the rest of the beat. So the hi-hat, also very important, the hi-hat is going to play two and four. And the hi-hat, the way I like to start playing this is using a heel-toe method, where I'm playing the heel on beat one, the toe on beat two. So heel, toe, heel, toe. One, two, three, four. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Now if you've never done that before, it's a little awkward. The challenge you have to be with this is you don't want you don't want that clunky sort of sound. It's got to be gentle. Now, a lot of times when I'm playing, especially if I'm playing busier and there's a lot of stuff going on, I'll come up here and I'll do more of this tight toe kind of a feel and kind of a sound. Okay? So that's adjustable. But I want to be able to have that foundation of being able to do that. So that's heel toe, two and four. Now, the bass drum, this is the hardest part, and this is where people struggle the most. The bass drum has to be super, super light, okay? We call that feathering the bass drum, which, as the name implies, playing it like a feather. Super, super light. So I'm barely going to play it. So the hi-hat I'm laying into, two and four. The bass drum, man, I'm just basically touching it as light as I possibly can. And then I'm using it more as an accent tool. Okay? And I'm accenting with the bass drum. Same thing with the snare drum. I'm accenting as well, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So here's the whole beat with the bass drum feathering the quarter notes, hi-hat on two and four, ride cymbal. About halfway through, I'm going to pull the bass drum out, and I want you to feel what that feels like. It's like the bottom drops out. It really changes the feel. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to pull the bass drum out. Wow, really changes it. Here it is back in. 
Still the ride symbol is where it's at. That's my focus. All right. Now with the left hand, a great way to start with the left hand is practicing rhythms against the right hand. There's a book called Advanced Techniques for the Modern Drummer and tons of exercises of the left hand against the right hand, uh, against the full beat really, to give to that being able to play whatever you want within the context. A lot of people talk about that as independence. I don't call that independence. I call it dependence because this is incredibly dependent upon this. If I wasn't doing this, this would be easy, right? So they're very dependent upon one another and how they interact together is very, very important as well. So I'm going to play some accents and just kind of play some rhythm phrases, comping we call that with the left hand. So kind of like a keyboard player would comp and accent uh, within the chord charts and the chord changes. It's kind of what I'm doing with the left hand. In fact, if I'm playing in a context of a group, I'm thinking about that and I'm listening to what the keyboard player is doing, whoever's comping, if it's a guitar player, and I'm working off of them and what they're playing, okay? So let me just play a little bit of that kind of in the style at that tempo. A one, two, three, four. Kind of the idea. Again, this is my focus. This is where I'm thinking about. This is what I'm focusing on. Let me play one more thing. I'm going to kick the tempo up a little bit and we're going to play kind of a fast thing, a little busier, a little more stuff going on. And let me speed up my tempo here a little bit. Let's go at about 200. Quarter note is 200, which we were doing 120. So that's moving along. One, two, one, two, three, one. So I'm really trying to play a variety of accents, rhythms, thinking melodies, all kinds of little stuff going on there. All right, so this is a more sophisticated style. A lot of practice has to go into playing the basic beat, playing the other things against the basic beat, uh, being able to accent the hi-hat within the context of the beat. Again, that freedom to express what you hear and what's going on musically, the technique allows us to do that. All right. So have fun with that and uh, enjoy the drumming.